Hi friends, in this section we will see some alarm indication and control uh, interlock signals which are connected to the control panel. So here you can see that control supply is coming to X51 for this panel and then it's going to LCC XDR31 and from there the first signal coming from LCC is CBSS expression low. So if pressure is low, this contact at the LCC local control cubicle will close and then it will be here K21 will pick up. So when K21 will pick up, we go to sheet number 40.2. So K21, so here is the K21. So it is showing CVSS expression low and this is the supplier for alarm. So this supply is then uh, of this K21 will picked up, 5 and 9 will close and there will be indication and alarm on the control panel that circuit breaker pressure, SS pressure is low. So in the same way you can find some more signals which are connected to an state RCB hydraulic arm fault, CVSS strip, then we have uh, other compartment SS low, CB closing block. We have E01 plus LCC on local control S100. Then we have line protection PT core MCB strip. So when this MCB is strip, then it is uh, this uh, alarm will this contact will close at the control panel, and then K20 will energize, and the K20 is sending signal to annunciator. You can see 40.5, and then. Also, when MCB is stripped, uh, one signal from K20 con uh, contact is connected to the protection panel. It will block the distance relay. So I have a separate lecture for that where I have con uh, I have explained and complete give training related to protection, one that is given protection. So if you are interested, you can uh, enroll in this training also. So another contact of K20 is given as sphere. So here you can see if this all relay will picked up, if there is a signal coming from LCC, when the relays are picked up, you can see the contacts are used at 40.3 and then 44. So you can see these all contacts are here. And you can see all the relevant alarms that we have seen in the last page. When these contactors are picked up, this contact will operate and it will give alarm to the control panel. So here you can see some alarms are coming from E01 plus RP3 which is a line protection panel and these alarms are like time differential or distance protection general triple alarm, line differential pickup. This is showing red, yellow, blue phase then there are three zones, zone 1, zone 2, zone 3 and then we have a power sink blocking so these are the alarms and here you can see the hotter circuit which is connected to the card in the same way you can find more alarms coming from E01 plus RP3 and from the bus bar and breaker failure production panel the alarm of stage 1 and stage 2 is connected then we have uh, status that HVCB trip line PTMCB trip is also connected here. So you find lot of alarms which are connected to the NGH panel. So here at the end you will see F27.2, which is basically a DC supervision relay, which is connected at the end of the loop. So Okay, you can see the next uh, sheet also. Some more alarms are connected here. If DC supply is failed, K7 is picked up and it will give alarm. And this you can see, and DC supply failed is shown on AC annunciator, which is feed from AC phase and neutral. So in the same way, if uh, any of the protection is failed because the supply is failed or there is an internal hardware failure. The indication is provided by AC supply. So you can see at the end of this, they have connected uh, of the AC loop. They have connected relay K30, which is monitoring AC and an supply supervision.
and for DC we are using a siren uh, if there is a siren it means the alarm is coming from DC and if the AC bell and bell, bell is basically ringing if there is an alarm on the AC annunciator so operator immediately knows the alarm is coming from AC annunciator or DC and he can take action accordingly these are the signals which are going to SCADA so signals which are going to SCADA are for example CV hydraulic pump fault CV SS X-ray block out CV closing block we have E01 plus LCC control on local so these are the signals uh, total that we have which are connected to the alarm panel and which is going to SCADA thank you very much